Welcome back, everybody, to the official channel of Homa Games. We got a good one for today, boys. Last video, I said that we are gonna start every single video with a joke. And you guys absolutely loved it, man. You loved it. The joke wasn't that good, but it still put a smile on your face. I also asked you guys to put your jokes down below in the comments section for a chance at being featured in the next video. And you guys absolutely killed it, bro. We got some good jokes. Shout out to Emma McGill for coming through with this joke, man. I think you guys are gonna like it. Here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub, please. I'm drowning. Uh, you get it? Because Dwayne kind of sounds like drain. Aha, what do you think? If you didn't like that joke... Well, comment a better one, and there will be a better one in the next video, I promise. This is happening way too often now, bud. Every time I start recording, you guys show up. I don't think any of the viewers are complaining. I think they love seeing you. Today's video is a little too scary for you guys to be involved, man. You know what? Since you guys can't record the video with me, how about we get you a treat? Does that sound good? <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, dear. Here you go, Pierre. Leila, here you go. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Homa Games, you said this was going to be a scary video. Explain. Ever since Fortnite Chapter 2 released, well over a year ago at this point, right outside of the location of Slurpee Swamps, there has been this mysterious shack. At this shack, you'll actually find two different tombstones. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like somebody was buried here. For the longest time, we had no idea what this shack was related to, what it was even doing inside of the game of Fortnite, but finally, here inside of Season 6, we have the answer. As it turns out, this location is directly related to an NPC that wanders around the entire Fortnite map and doesn't even spawn every game. Of all the NPCs we've had out of the last two Fortnite seasons, this is by far the most difficult NPC to locate. And that's saying a lot because the Bunker Jonesy NPC is also here inside of Season 6, and last week, I literally spent an entire day trying to find it. Before we jump into game and find this super spooky, very difficult to find boss, don't forget, I get five subscribers every single day on the Home of Games channels, and I've been going crazy hooking people up with the battle path. If you're not subscribed, it would absolutely make my entire week if you hit that subscribe button. So seriously, man, could you please hit it? We've wasted too much time, ladies and gentlemen. There is a ghost wandering around the Fortnite map, the hard hardest to find boss in Fortnite history. So let's get into a game and let's find him. Ah, what an absolutely beautiful day here on the Fortnite Island. And I honestly have to say, this is the perfect weather to go hunting, right? I also realized that I forgot to ask you guys to drop a like in this video. So, uh, Travis Scott wants you to drop a like right here. Drop a like for Travis Scott, please. Maybe. Thank you. First spot we're gonna go and check is right over here at the location that I talked about like a minute ago where this person is actually buried. This was literally one of the first brand new point of interest that we received when Chapter 2 originally released, and since then, it literally hasn't received any updates. By now, I'm sure we have all visited this shack, right? And if you look outside, one, there's a, a coffin just chilling here, bruh. If you go inside, you'll find a little teddy bear staring at the fireplace, which is cool. You'll also find an operating table and guess what? Another coffin. The scarier part is right here outside, ladies and gentlemen, where you can see there is literally a tombstone just chilling here, as well as a bunch of rocks where the person was probably buried. And then you move over here and we find another tombstone, ladies and gentlemen. This one has a bunch of writing on it, but where things get interesting is the coffin that was once underground is no longer underground, bro. Like, this person came back to life. And I guess it only makes sense that if the person was buried right here and they escaped from being buried right here, that they're probably located somewhere around here, right? Hello? Mr. Spooky Ghost, are you here? I am trying to find you, mate. Where are you at? Hello? Where are you, sir? This is getting difficult, bruh. Oh, we may have not found the ghost boss, ladies and gentlemen, but we did find one of the secret chests located right here on the map. So, hey, I'll take it, right? Boom, a scar. Thank you, sir. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have spotted an NPC. Oh, wait, that's just Mr. Chuggis. Never mind. Oh, dear boys, we got enemies right here. 
Enemies right here. We're on the hunt for a ghost, but looks like we got to fight some people, dog. He's in the box right here. Watch this. I'm going to take his wall. Boom. Oh. Whoa, that was close. Ah. Oh. Ah, darn it, five health, bro. You hate to see it. Well, boys, let's be honest. That last match was a total fail and sort of a waste of time, if I'm being honest. But don't worry, because in between the last game and this game, I did some research online. And as it turns out, we were literally looking in the wrong spot. We walked all the way around here, right? Like we checked all of Slurpee Swamps. Nope. Couldn't have been more wrong. Also, you may notice that the entire game we searched last match, it was daytime. Since this is a ghost or a spooky boss, it has to be nighttime in order for you to find it. And if it's daytime, it just literally won't spawn. And it's daytime right now, ladies and gentlemen. Do I just back out? Eh, screw it. We're already here. I'll just sit in a bush and wait. Ah! Oh, all right. I guess that works. That was an accident, but good enough. Now... We wait. Look at homie run, dog. He's got no clue that we're here. He's in the RV right now and he doesn't have a clue. Oh dear, he just opened the chest. Please don't see me, bro. Please do not see me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, he's coming towards me. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh no. All right, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Thank you. Nighttime is upon us. Time to begin the hunt. Oh, we got an enemy right there. Run, home of games. Anywhere but there. We got to get away from that guy. Here, he's chasing me. He's literally chasing me, bro. Stop. 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 Please. Please. I literally sat there and waited until it was nighttime. You can't do this to me now, bro. You literally can't. Uh-oh. 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 Come here, mate. Boom. Oh. This, okay. All right. This is not good. Not good at- oh. Yes! You see that, boys? It's nighttime, and I also invited my secret weapon into the lobby, so we don't get eliminated by any sweats like we did last game. Uh-oh, it looks like the moon's moving pretty fast, man. We gotta go quick. Weeping woods, here we come, man. We're gonna find this stinking boss, dude, I swear. All right, weeping woods. Here we are, Mr. Boss, where are you located, good sir? Here's the game plan, all right? We got a lot of ground to cover and not that much time to cover it. I'm gonna get a little bit of loot, just enough that in case I run into anyone, I'll be able to bop them. But most importantly, man, we're gonna hop in a truck and we're gonna drive around Weeping Woods. Here we go, we're starting it off right over here, Mr. Boss. No, don't worry because we got plenty of gas, boys. Let's keep on the hunt. Nothing so far, man. Every second that passes, I lose more and more hope. Just know, if you're watching this video right now, we ended up finding it, right? Like, I wouldn't make this whole video just to not find it. Oh, it looks like I was wrong about the gas, man, because we are literally... Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We found the boss. Hold on. We got to wait for that guy to go by. All right. And now we will quietly approach so we don't startle the boss or any surrounding players. Would you look at it, man? It is just glowing like an absolute mad lad. Ladies and gentlemen, if I'm being honest, I don't recognize this skin at all. Here we go, man. Let's go up and have a little chat with it. It looks like the name is Willow. And looking at it, man, I literally don't recognize this skin at all, even when I'm standing right in front of it. Quickly, we'll go up and we'll have a conversation with Willow. Oh, and we just leveled up. Thank you so much, Willow. That just made my day. You can see that we're able to get a whole bunch of incredible stuff from this boss. Like, we're able to buy a rift, and we're also able... Oh! Wait, what just happened, bro? Did you see that? Oh, we got an enemy here, bro. What are you doing, mate? This gun's terrible. Thank you. But that was crazy, bro. Homie literally just disappeared as soon as a little bit of sunlight ended up touching her. That's crazy, bro. What is going on there? I didn't even really get to talk to her, you know? I wanted to have a conversation. I wanted to hear her talk about haunting people and whatnot. But she's gone, just like that. Looking at the NPC in my collections list. It is called the Willow Skin. 
And honestly, it still doesn't look familiar at all. I feel like this is a pretty rare skin. Huge shout out to everyone who's in the Home of Games Discord for helping me find this NPC. I'm not sure that I could have did it without him. If you guys enjoyed and you're new to the Home of Games channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as it will genuinely make my day. If you're hungry for more Home of Games content, make sure you come through to the Home of Games second channel where I'm doing my best to stream as many times as possible throughout the week. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.